Old Salem Museum and Gardens. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, we have uh, a busy week for you guys this week. Talk about uh, your special guest coming in on Thursday. We're really excited. We have P. Allen Smith coming this week on Thursday and Friday. And um, we're just so excited to have him. We've wanted him to come and visit us for years. And so we're just thrilled that he'll be joining us this week. He's going to do a luncheon and a lecture on Thursday afternoon and then an evening in the gardens on Friday. And then um, fortunately for us, his production team is coming and they're going to do some filming. So you might see some old Salem footage scattered into the shows that people watch for the next, you know, six months to a year. And that will be really wonderful for us as well. And luckily, you get to see it right here on PBS. That's on exactly right. That's exactly right. His shows are really popular. He's a best-selling author. He's got some great books. He does a lot with Farm to Table. And um, we interpret Farm to Table at Old Salem every day. We have nine restored landscapes and gardens, um, all using heirloom plants. And um, we have a special house called the Mitch House where we garden as gardening was done in the 18th century and then we harvest fruits and vegetables and product all every day or, or when we can bring them into the house and we have an interpreter who cooks um, things right out of the kitchen garden at that house every day. And um, so it's just such a great fit. He talks about um, farm to table today and we interpret what was done in the 18th century and in fact they're not all that different and so that'll be really fun. Well, speaking of the table end of the farm to table, this includes a luncheon as well and, and the lecture coming up. It does. He's going to um, he's going to talk about um, some of what he's done on his own farm over lunch. And that'll be Thursday at noon. And um, he'll also be signing books for those that would love to purchase or already have his books and would like to bring them. Um, we would love anybody that's interested in coming to hear him. I'm told he is just a wonderful um, speaker, really engaging. And um, I think you see that personality come through on his shows that people watch on your network. And um, I think they'll see it in person as well. And then Friday evening is more of a cocktail reception in our gardens and really a chance. It's a more intimate evening by choice. And it's a chance to really kind of get close and, and maybe have an opportunity to meet him and talk to him, ask questions. Um, both are going to be great events and both benefit the museums, which we so appreciate. I know people are going to want to know how to find out more about this because uh, you've got to be getting close to running it's out of really time. It's really close. So, yeah, you, you have to make your reservations right away. But best place to go is to our website, www.oldsalem.org. And also, if you're there looking on the website, you'll find out lots of other excitement happening at Old Salem. Talk about uh, the summer plans. We um, It's a patriotic summer in Old Salem. And um, one of the most fun things, I think, to do is to join us at the naturalization ceremony that we have every 4th of July. It's a really meaningful, moving ceremony where um, citizens become naturalized. And um, that's always a fun day. It sort of sets the tone for a wonderful 4th of July weekend. So I would encourage people to do that. This weekend, we've got our farmer's market opening. We have a pottery fair um, on, in Salem Square with a number of potters from all over North Carolina. So it'll be a really fun weekend to be in Old Salem this weekend. And we've always got things going on. You know, all summer long, there'll be special events and programs. And the best place to look is on our website. We'll have a wonderful speaker this fall. Robert Edsel, who's the author of Monuments Men, is actually coming in the fall um, because one of our earliest employees was a Monuments Man. So a little known fact, but wonderful tie to Old Salem. And there's more information about that on the website as well. But lots of great, fun, family-oriented activities all summer long. And uh, we're not out of spring yet. You have a spring no. festival coming up too first. Right. Spring festivals this weekend with the Pottery Fair and our Farmer's Market. Our Farmer's Market is, um, is in full swing and um, is open every Saturday morning from 9 to 12. So that's a wonderful way to um, kind of visit Old Salem. And then this, this um, weekend will be the Spring Festival, the Pottery Fair on the Square, and then all the subsequent weekends this spring and into summer. There's always something special going on. We have a great team of people that plan great family-friendly events. I grew up in the triad, so I know all about Old Salem, but the people who might not have traveled there yet, which is, shouldn't be too many, but there, there's plenty that might not have seen it yet. Talk about what it's like to walk through Old Salem and really explore that history of, of Salem. It's such a wonderful place. It's the town of Salem. It's the Salem and Winston-Salem. It was founded in 1766. And we have restored the town. It's been a 60-plus year effort to preserve the original town of Salem 
The, it was founded by a group of um, immigrants. They were Moravian, that was their religion, and so the town was a religious town. They were German, so the architecture is very reminiscent of Germany. It's beautiful, and we have a lot of original buildings that have been preserved that are open to the public to tour. We have costumed interpreters that are dressed in 18th and early 19th century dress that will tell people all about life back in the 18th and 19th century. And what's important to us is we talk about life back then, but we relate it to life today. And you know, in, in many ways, it's not that different. Um, but you really take a step back in time. And I think that's what families and children really appreciate, is kind of getting a sense for what life would have been like in the 18th century, in the late 1700s, early 1800s, in Salem, North Carolina, which at the time was kind of the back country of North Carolina. But um, the Moravians were a really interesting people. George Washington visited Salem, stayed a couple nights because he was so fascinated with the innovation there and the fact that the town had public running water, it had a public waterworks. Um, the arts and culture was very much part of everyday life. There was a doctor trained in Europe that lived in the town and cared for people in all of Western North Carolina. So um, we have the apothecary um, and the doctor's house that you can visit and see. It's fun, it's fun. It's fun to take that step back in time, experience life as it was, and then think about how it might relate to life today. How difficult it was it though to keep the preservation alive of these facilities? These are not uh, your typical uh, buildings. These are these are very uh, specifically made buildings that they have. You're so right. It's uh, it's challenging to keep them preserved. It's expensive. Anybody that owns an old house knows what a challenge it is, and so imagine numerous old houses that we have to maintain and preserve um, for generations to come. And that's really the point. You know, we've been on this road for 64 years and we hope that this place will exist for the next 64 years. And so we have to be really thoughtful about preserving these buildings um, in a way that, that maintains them for your children, grandchildren, our great-grandchildren to enjoy. And then you get to enjoy all the candles that are throughout as well. That's my That's favorite That's exactly part. right. All those wonderful beeswax candles and Moravian stars. And um, we have seven shops. We have a restaurant. Um, it, it's a fun place to visit. You can do a little shopping, bring a few things home with you as well. And that's always great. Sneak in a few cookies and some bread There's too from the bakery. There's plenty of cookies <laughs> and sugar cake. Don't forget the sugar cake. Very, you know, very much a staple in Salem. Well, Reagan Fullen, thanks so much for being Thank here you. and bringing Old Salem back to us as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And for more information about an evening in the garden with P. Allen Smith this weekend or any of the other events happening at Old Salem, visit their website at www.oldsalem.org.